Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I'm going to cover a lot of topics. If you remember last week, I asked you what might robotics class look like, you know, with this whole virus going on. So I'm going to cover that. Um, I want to thank Yannick for sending me some pictures already from Germany on how his class looks like. And some of you have asked me, what do I think First Lego League can do to improve or what would I change about it? So I'm going to try to cover all of those things if you stay with me. Okay, first things first, let's talk about how robotics class would look different. I've even thrown this off to my students with their online learning. And I've gotten some really cool responses back and, you know, some responses that I kind of assumed I would get. So the first thing I kind of see coming as, you know, schools would start to reopen um, next fall. In fact, I hope it's next fall is I definitely see, you know, desks not being as close together like this. But I expect just to be six feet apart, like this. So that was Yannick's class from Germany, um, I believe physics, right Yannick? Um, where the desks are just gonna be super separated now instead of close like they used to be. Another thing that I definitely see, thanks to Yannick again, is definitely a lot of hand sanitizer. And who knows how much supply we're gonna need to cover all the classes we might get. Um, but definitely, you know, after each student might be touching things. Um, and, and with my class, it's not like they're touching um, things that another class would touch. I mean, every student or each team has their own kit. But definitely I can see if, you know, students are touching other things that the, the class would share, like chargers and things like that, to definitely have that hand sanitizer to make sure that the next class would hopefully be safe. Another thing that I kind of foresee happening is, you know, not necessarily with robotics class, but with the school as a general, I can see there be staggered times that, you know, students come to school um, where maybe some students come at 8, some come at 10, where you don't have everybody on campus at one time. And like Yannick said, he said he, he, he doesn't go to school every day. He might go to school on Tuesday, Thursday. So our school district has already talked about some type of hybrid learning where some students might online learn, some students, you know, um, might come to school. So I can see there being, uh, maybe you come to school on a certain day, you learn from school on a certain, or learn from home on a certain day. So everybody is not on campus at once. So that's kind of what I see happening for that. Another thing I can see changing in the robotics class is I always have two students per kit working in a class like this. So with the social distancing, I don't know if that's going to be feasible anymore. It might now be one kid per kit where that one student has their own kit instead of sharing. And it's just, you know, that's kind of how it's going to have to be where, you know, if I'm sharing a kit, I can't be six foot distance away from them. So I can see now just handing a kit to one student saying, this is your kit, this is your kit. And I definitely don't see um, there being 35 to 40 students in my class like last year. I might see, you know, a dozen students sitting like they were in Yannick's class. So it's just a lot of different, you know, situations now that we're having to play out with the scenarios of smaller classes, you know, desks farther apart, hand sanitizer, and now let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, first Lego League. So with FLL, I can already see 
In fact, I've already gotten emails from those that would be in charge of First Lego League for our region, and they're already telling us that they're starting to think about ways to compete virtually. And that's, I think that's kind of what we're doing already with, you know, we've already had our on a roll challenge where we're doing different robot game things um, at home. So I can kind of see maybe teams doing virtual robot game missions and either, you know, doing it through Zoom or some other type of virtual, you know, you can be right there to watch. Maybe I can see a team saying, okay, your first round is going to be at 10 o'clock, but, you know, 10 o'clock where you're, you might have judges watching via Zoom to, you know, watch what you're doing. That's kind of how I see it. I can see a project presentation done on Zoom where, you know, 12 o'clock, you know, your team meets on Zoom to, you know, explain your project. Um, two o'clock, your team has a core values um, judging. Uh, robot design is at a different time. And, you know, you just instead of going to different rooms or places now, maybe it's just going to be on your computer or your phone. So I see that happening. I hope I'm wrong. But, you know, as our schools are going to have an issue just, you know, reopening, I can see first Lego League saying, hey, you know what? Let's just, you know, maybe for this year, do things online where students, you know, can stay safe. Like I said, I hope I'm wrong, but that's the way I see it. Okay, let's get into now. Some of you have asked me, hey, Mr. Hino, if you were to do any changes with the way First Lego League operates, you know, what are your thoughts? And I first want to say, hey, I'm not in any way complaining I have, I'm not sending letters to First Lego League. In fact, you know, they send out surveys to coaches. I haven't even filled out my survey for this past City Shaper year. So I am definitely not in the seat of complaining or, hey, you guys need to fix this. Um, First Lego League has done amazing things. And, you know, year after year, we're just excited. And it's just super fun. So this is definitely just, you know, in Mr. Hino's dreamland, you know, if I could change some things, and you guys can definitely let me know in the comment section if you disagree or agree. But here's number one. Um, you know, when you go to your competitions, they usually have four rounds, a practice round, and then first, second, and third round. If I had it my way, I would let teams basically have four real rounds and basically decide to throw out their lowest score as a practice round. So because there, there's been times where we've gone to a competition and our practice round is the best round. And we're like, no, we wish we could have, you know, kept that score and, you know, ditched another score that we had gotten in a different round. So I don't know how you guys feel, but I'd rather have four rounds where you get to just decide which three rounds, you know, you want to be real and which one is like a throwaway round. Because definitely we've had some really good practice rounds. And you're right, we've definitely had some good last round ones. But I'd, I'd like to give teams the choice. Because sometimes you show up in the morning and that first round is like, yeah, that was our best one. And then it just goes downhill from there. So... For Mr. Hino's number one, I'd rather give you four rounds, all of it counting, but you get to decide which round to throw away as like your practice round, like that didn't count. Number two, with the robot game, um, and this is what I first thought when I first started to coach First Lego League. When I saw the scoreboard and I saw that there was a practice round, first round, second round, third round, I thought all of it was going to add up. Um, I thought it was all going to be calculated instead of, you know, your, your best round. So if I were to change things, I'm not sure which one would be better. And again, let me know in the comments sections if you agree or disagree. I'd rather see your score averaged, where we take the average of 
all of your scores because what I want to stay away from, and again, this is just me throwing out what would might be a perfect scenario. I don't want to see a team like get this amazing amount of you know points and then for the rest of the rounds sit back and just do nothing or it's just ending up being a goof around. I want I want every round to be nail biting. I want it all to count. So I'd love to see some type of average where they average your points so you can't take off any round and go, yeah, this is mess around or do whatever we want. I want it all to mean something where they take your average or they might, I don't know. You guys can maybe let me know what you think about how they score it. But to just take your best round, I feel like when we're looking for consistency, I'd rather, you know, each round count so every round does stay consistent. So the best score goes to the most consistent rather than, yeah, our first, you know, two rounds completely stunk and then we came and won it at the very end. I don't know. I'd rather reward teams that get a good consistent score every round rather than, yeah, we stunk, we stunk. Hey, we figured out something and did really well, and now we want it all from everybody. I don't know, but that's just my thought. And number three, I don't know how your guys' judging goes, but when we went to our qualifier, um, I really liked the way that there were, I believe, three to four judges when we went in for our project. I feel that that's a good thing because you get multiple you know opinions you get multiple objectiveness towards your project but here's what happened when we went to our state uh, or regional championships there were only two judges in our project room and the problem i have with that is you know those two judges now you start to narrow the thinking like you know you're looking at the project going do you like this project? I don't know. Do you like this project? And I'd rather have four judges in the project, maybe have a minimum of four. So that way, if somebody's having a bad day, the other three can be like, well, we kind of like that project. But it just seems like when you only have two projects going on, I'm sorry, when you only have two judges looking at a project, I just feel like that opens up a lot of um, you know what? I really don't like, you know, if, if this if this is about, you know, let's just say it's about City Shaper and you're you're coming figuring out a way to help the handicap. Someone goes, you know what? I really could care less. And then, you know, if two judges share that same idea. Now your project's totally hijacked. But if you had four people, I can see somebody going. But wait a minute, you know, I, I really feel for the handicap. Let's just give this project a little bit of more consideration. So I just feel like having two judges, I feel, mm, I think we can do better. And I know they're all volunteers, so I appreciate all the volunteers. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like there should be more people involved in judging that than just two people. Okay, everybody, so we hit on how robotics class might look differently when the schools start to reopen. We definitely, and again, thank you to Yannick for uh, giving us your pictures and just kind of helping us see what things might look like when we come back to school. We talked about first Lego League, how that might be different. And again, I hope we don't do some type of virtual competition, but it is what it is. And if that's the way we go, then that's the way we roll with it. And then we also talked about how things could look different for First Lego League if we could bend or change the rules a bit. But, you know, again, I'm not complaining. I'm just throwing out things that you can definitely disagree with if you want to. So hopefully this was an informative, um, definitely a way to look into how things might be different and just and some mind opening things on how things could be improved. But you guys can definitely feel free to give me your opinion because I value your, your guys' opinion. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Ozega Robotics. I'm out. And he's out. He's out. He's out.
Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you want to see more robotics videos, check out these really cool videos. I will see you on the next video.